guys, it's Jimmy Baby again and today I'm going to speak about something that I usually don't speak about and it's about, you know, female balding and a lot of people don't like to speak on that but I feel as though that I should, like for years, I've struggled with this and it's only after I started like wearing wigs and stuff like that, you know, and experiencing higher levels of stress I guess, you can say, and... It was only then that I started to like lose hair like right up in here or sometimes my hair would thin and I would say like it was hormonal changes and stuff like that or anything like that or maybe I was in eating like nutritious food but I realized that stress and like bad diet I guess would somehow contribute to you know hair loss and you don't want that to happen so. I've just realized that I've used DHT blockers, I've used um, protein supplements and stuff like that to try to, you know, increase different levels of nutrients and stuff like that, trying to grow my hair back. And I've realized that only after I have, like, wear, worn my wigs properly and, I, like, I reduce certain stress and all that different stuff by doing different things that I realized that my hair is starting to grow back again like I've when I was younger it was like you know you lose your edges and then they'll come right back so yeah like now I've decided to drink more water and to wear my wigs properly and stuff like that but there are also other procedures that you can do um, to grow your hair back and I was doing some research but I am not like um, I don't need hair transplants or anything like that but there are tra hair transplants that you can use um, I would suggest that you probably would um, do your research properly and know the procedure before you get it done like there is like two different types I think it's FUI and FUE and both of them are pretty extreme but if that's something that you would like to consider then you probably should and if it's just something that you could control that is up I mean above like heredity that's like in the cases of hereditary baldness and stuff because I have hereditary baldness in my family and you can get it from your mother or your father's side of the family so it really does not make you a bad person I like to wear my wigs like sometimes your hair just isn't going to um, cooperate with you like how you would want it to cooperate with you and Therefore, you would have to like wear wigs to style it and to protect your natural hair. Like my natural hair is actually thick and curly, and I love it so much. However, there are times that I really want to do like uh, natural straightening. Um, that's also um, something that you can do for your hair, not to be chemically like a really harsh chemical on your hair to like absolutely kill the follicle and. So you don't want to do that. You want to nourish the follicle for as long as it can last. And you want to be able to grow your hair longer. Like, after I went um, fully natural, after I did my big chop and everything, I, my hair just started to grow faster and longer and fuller. But I never really had a problem with my hair before. Because even though I would um, relax it or perm it or anything like that, like, honestly my hair would remain the same texture but it's just that um it would be able to manipulate a little better like I could curl it style and stuff like that's the only reason why I relax my hair so that I'd be able to style it properly and I want to be able to have versatility in my hairstyles like if I want pink hair blue hair green hair red hair uh purple hair uh white hair any kind of hair like I want to be able to have that but wigs give you that decision making that you can use like if you don't want your hair like that like you could just revert it back to original like just by putting a wig on without making any permanent decisions like seriously you don't want to lose your hair just because you want to follow some fad or some style and then at the end of the day you still want your original hair back like you wouldn't want to do that to yourself so like I said, um, there are DHT blockers, there are um, 
nutrients, protein, um, healthy foods at that, like you could actually find these nutrients in healthy vegetables and fruits, sauces and herbal supplements and all these good things. Just do your research and if you really need transplant and you can do that. You can actually weigh those options and try those out but they are really extreme and remember that you're always beautiful and you could always invest in a wig if you would want to anything like that so thank you guys for watching and this is my video on female balding and this is just one video because i want to continue talking about it thank you so much guys